Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by today because today I get to do another oil painting time lapse for you guys. I know the last one was quite a while ago, but I usually only paint on the weekends because the rest of the week is dedicated to making art dolls. So this is kind of one of those projects that takes quite a while to get done, mainly because I only work maybe an hour at a time each weekend on it. Anyways, I'm super excited, so let's get started. Okay guys, so for today's painting, I'm going to show you guys how I painted my dog's left eye. Now Axel has brown eyes, but his left eye is half blue, and I just absolutely love this eye on him. It's so cool how the blue fades into the brown, and I've been trying to get a really good picture of this for like the longest time, but it's pretty hard to take a really detailed picture of a dog's eyeball because they like to move and they're not sure what you're doing when you're holding your phone or your camera in front of them. They're like, like, ooh, what's this? Is it a toy? <laughs> so it was really difficult to actually get this picture. Um, I'll show it up on the screen real quick. But I got this picture using my iPhone 4. I can't believe I was able to actually zoom in this well with it because that's a really, really old phone of mine. Since then I've upgraded to something nicer and I probably wouldn't have had so much trouble to get this photo, but I'm really proud of how much work went into getting this little photo, that way I could make a painting of it. But yeah, the reason his eye does this is because it's lacking pigment in one spot. Axel is completely white, so he has a a lack of pigment, so um, his eye kind of did the same thing in just one spot of it. But you don't see a lot of eyes that only do it like halfway, so I just fell in love with his eye the second I saw him as a puppy, and ever since then I've been trying to paint it. So today we are going to get this painting done and I get to actually experiment with doing an eyeball painting. I see a lot of other painters on YouTube doing eye paintings and they always do like a person's eye and I I think those are pretty and all that but I guess I connect more with like animals expressions because they're just so much more innocent and I guess when you look at a human's eye you kind of naturally start like trying to figure out what they're thinking, what they're judging you by and different things like that but it's a lot different with like your, your dog. I mean you look in their eye and all you see is just like like love and hope and like are you gonna feed me are we gonna play all kinds of things like that are you doing okay they just like care and it's just something you don't see in a lot of people's eyes and I really wanted to capture that but yeah I took this really cute picture of him with his toy and I've had it actually for quite a while and then one day I decided I was going through my phone to actually decide on which pictures to switch over to my new phone I was messing with it and I realized how detailed I could zoom in on the eye and I was like I have to paint it I can finally paint it I have material to work with because uh, I can't just stare at his eye while he's sleeping and hold it open or something <laughs> So anyways, that is Axel, and this is his cute little eye that I just absolutely love. Now one thing cool that I learned while I was trying to paint his eye was that the blue of his eye is actually more of a white or a gray than it is an actual blue. There is some blue in there, but it's mainly just highlights. So I had to mess around with this quite a bit to get it to look correct because it's more of the illusion of blue than an actual blue eye. And I thought that was kind of neat. And then another thing that I came across that was quite interesting working on the eye was the pupil. A lot of the times when you think of drawing an eye you think of circles 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 everything is round but the pupil on this I found that it didn't look right when I made it perfectly round and that's because a lot of the color from the iris is kind of blending in naturally on one side of the pupil so you can't really define the shape of it as perfect as a circle so by making it look perfectly round I ended up making it look kind of fake so I had to blend Blend it in and create this like kind of portal looking because an actual eye is more of an opening. The pupil of the eye is an opening into the eye. So you have to kind of blend the iris into the pupil to get that natural look. And I thought that was really interesting because I never tried to paint an eye before that detailed and it was kind of fun to learn that. 
One thing I did have problems with with this painting was I was trying to mess with linseed oil a bit more. Um, I don't usually use this and I don't use a lot of products with my oil but I've been trying to use different techniques and learn a lot more with it. So I was trying to use linseed oil and linseed oil basically is to kind of water down your oil paints so they become more translucent. So I was using this a lot with the color of the eye to try and get the blue right but I made the mistake of adding too much to it. So during this time lapse you'll probably notice a large drip forming from the pupil going down through the bluish white portion of the iris. And while I was painting I was completely oblivious to this until I was done for painting that day and then I noticed the drip and I had to wipe everything off. So it kind of just vanishes in the time lapse because that's the end of one painting session and the beginning of another because I like painting more on the weekends so usually I sit down for an hour, I paint and record and then I'll wait, I'll let it dry for like the whole week and then I can touch it again the following weekend. So this painting probably took about four weeks. Maybe. I might have skipped a week. I don't know. I think a lot of the white paint took a lot longer to dry, so I had to give a two-week span between two layers. So it, it was actually quite time-consuming, even though technically I only spent about four hours on it. It took me about probably five to six months to get it done, and that's mainly because I don't do painting professionally, this is a hobby, my art dolls and everything like that are my business, and this I don't have a lot of time to invest in yet, so it's a weekend project kind of thing. But yeah, if you want to mess with linseed oil, just make sure to not go super thick, and sometimes it might help to lay the canvas flat while painting instead of having it standing up like I do. Now I really hope you guys are enjoying these oil paintings because I think it's a really cool way to just kind of sit down and just talk with you guys. Um, a lot of the times the other videos I'm trying to talk to you guys about all the different things you have to do to make this and that, and I don't really just get to like express what's going on with me, and I thought this is kind of, maybe it's my version of a vlog because I find my life is a little too boring because I sit in my little work space for like eight hours a day doing nothing but working and I don't think you guys would enjoy watching that. But um, I guess, yeah, this could be kind of a vlog without me technically vlogging. But I've been wanting to add a lot more fun things to the channel. I felt kind of like I was repeating myself and I was kind of getting a little down about it. So I've been trying to come up with a bunch of different things to add to the channel. So I want to do more painting videos. I want to do maybe some sculpting videos. I think that would be fun. And of course I want to do some art challenge videos. You guys seemed very interested in my mystery art doll project and I'm having a lot of fun recording that. I'm currently recording that now so it might be maybe two or three weeks until I can get that out. But I'm going to have a lot of fun with it and I'm hoping to keep doing it and make it a series because I think we could do a bunch of different themes and then maybe come out with a bunch of different like projects to do in a similar way. So if you guys have any other things that you see floating around that you think would be fun to have me do for a project or a challenge or stuff, I'm really open to anything. I love doing all types of different art. Um, my channel's just got that one art doll kind of theme to it, but I would really like to branch off and make it more of a everything kind of channel. I, I mean, I don't know. I, of course, art dolls are the main thing, but I want to not like box myself in and just have it art dolls. I want to be able to throw up a sculpting video or a painting video and it doesn't look odd within all the different art doll projects. <laughs> But yeah, I mainly just want to come on here, make an art video that I really enjoy making and I know you guys would like watching, and I don't want it to be in a little box, like only this type of video. I want to have it open enough to where we can just do what we want and have a lot of fun with it. Because I, I started YouTube because I want to get out of my box, I want to get out of my bubble, or whatever metaphor you want to use. I'm a very nervous person and I'm very shy and I kind of wanted to just force myself out of that shyness. I think that's honestly the only way you can get yourself out there is you gotta force yourself to do it. It's really, really hard, but 
you have to be the one to make the decision to not be shy and no one else can be like you need to go have fun and go out and party and stuff like that uh no <laughs> that's just me i believe you you have to personally want to get yourself out there and get past shyness or any type of anxiety but you guys know that if you've watched any of my old, old, like, original video where I have, like, the only 720 quality video and it's, like, me in the kitchen and then it moves to me in the living room and then I finally get my new camera and everything and it's all nice and professional looking, at least I think so. But back then I was so nervous and everyone can probably clearly tell if they go back to the original ones that I have no idea how to act in front of the camera or talk or anything like that. Like that. I'm so nervous. Um, mentally, I convinced myself that the camera sitting in front of me is like a bajillion people and I'm just freezing up all the time. But I've gotten so used to it that I really want to start pushing the boundaries of me not being comfortable in front of the camera and get past that so that I can do a lot more things with you guys on YouTube and different stuff like that. Um, I am nowhere near the point of being able to do a live video. I think if I did that I would probably pass out on camera because I am terrified to do that. But I think that would be a really fun goal to get to be able to do a live stream of some sort. Again, not gonna happen anytime soon because my heart is racing at the idea of that. <laughs> So, um, I would definitely want to keep trying to push my boundaries. I want to get out there. I want to be more social. I want to, um, I don't know. I just want to express myself and not be afraid to do it. But I think a lot of you guys probably have that same problem. I think a lot of creative people have that where they just, they love creating things and then they forget to do all the other social things that are out there. So they have issues doing them when it's time for it. Like, I could create a masterpiece, but oh, talking on the phone is really hard for me. And other people are like, how do you not know how to talk on the phone properly? I like to text. Don't call me. <laughs> Simple as that. I mean, there's just certain things you have to experience to be able to uh, know how to work and do them and when you're creative you kind of lock yourself away to do your passion and you forget about all the other things which is perfectly fine I would rather be creating sometimes than going out and partying or whatnot I don't find the interest in going out and partying unless it's with a small group of friends that I just want to have a nice relaxing night with um, I am NOT a club person oh my god I could couldn't do that. <laughs> But yeah, guys, if you have anything that you think would be fun to add to the channel, anything at all, just leave comments down below. I love knowing what you guys want to see. I think it's really creative. Of course, never gonna stop the art dolls. They're kind of one of my main passions and my main source of income <laughs> because of my Etsy shop. But I would definitely like to get into more painting and different projects. I think challenges would be really fun to do as well. I know there's a ton of art ones going around, so if you can think of anything that you think would be just entertaining to watch me try to do, I think that would be a lot of fun to just add to the channel and I can make a little playlist or something for it. But yeah, I really want to try and get my channel a little bit more organized because I know everything is kind of art doll right now except for maybe like a couple random videos, but I do want to organize it to where it's easier for you guys to watch. That way if I have about, let's say five videos that are making dragons of different types, I want it to where you guys can find all five of those dragon videos if that's what you want to watch and not have to dig through all my other videos. So I want to try and organize things to make them more fun and then to do it in kind of a way where I can make series out of it. Um, I'm currently trying to make giant plush bugs as a series and you guys seem to really like that. I think the next one is actually going to be a praying mantis, but I need to order more fabric for it because I drew out about half of the body pieces already and I realized, oh, I don't have enough green for this. But besides trying to organize my channel into more of a series type playlist friendly channel, I do want to try and upload more things. Um, I want to have it to where almost every week I can get two videos out. I know that's probably going to be really pushing it, but I want to have it to where Thursday is normal upload day where I do an art doll video. 
So that way, if you're here for art dolls, you don't have to dig through my content or like hope that I'm uploading a art doll video on that day. And then Friday can be the extra video day where I can either upload an art doll video too, or I can also upload a sculpting or painting video, or we can do a challenge video that day. That way, if you guys want the extra content, you just come back the next day. So it'd be a lot easier, because I don't want it to be hard for you guys to watch my art doll videos if um, I add more stuff to the channel. And then of course organizing it to where all of that stuff is in different series and you don't have to dig through a bunch of random videos to get to the one you want to watch. But yeah, other than that, I wanted to give you an update because in previous videos I've hinted to wanting to make a giant project that would take like four, maybe six videos to actually finish and make it kind of a series itself. And I have started on that, it's just going to take me a bit. And of course, I'm going to keep making the little things so you guys can actually afford to buy it because, let's face it, if I make something that's um, five feet long, it's going to be expensive in my Etsy shop. I just can't give it away because I probably spent over $100 to make it alone. So not including the hours put into it and everything like that. But I do want to get a bunch of tiny projects out there where, like, I make a video showing you guys how to make one and then at the end I have like five of them up for sale or something like that at a really good price so you guys can enjoy getting my products. But yeah, my idea for that series is once I have all the videos finished, I want to have it uploaded on a Friday. So every Friday for like four or five weeks, we would upload a video from that series and we'll have our normal scheduled videos on Thursday. But yeah, if you guys end up enjoying this series that I'm working on, I do want to do more of it because basically what I'm going to be doing is making a giant art doll, something huge. And I think it'd be really fun to make giant versions of things and spend like five videos showing how to make it because when you make it that large, you can go into more detail on like each particular thing and I think it'd be a lot of fun. But see, the problem with that series is having the space to store a bunch of giant art dolls. I live in a one-bedroom apartment. I can't cram my bedroom full of art dolls that are about three feet high by five feet long. It doesn't work. <laughs> Especially if I wanted to do like a, like a Chinese dragon. If I wanted to do that in a large form, it might be like ten feet long to be able to do something like that. I think it'd be awesome, but because it's so large, I'm gonna have to price it in my Etsy shop something kind of extravagant for it to actually make sense to sell it. That's the main problem, is I don't have the space to make a bunch of art dolls that are huge, so I'm really hoping I make this art doll, it sells, it funds the next art doll, and we can do another series. But yeah, I really have a lot of ideas that I want to run by you guys for different projects and different things. And I really like our painting videos being a kind of open discussion type video because I have no idea how to really explain what I'm doing because I'm not really a professional oil painter or anything like that. I just paint. I like start putting paint on the canvas and I don't know how to explain techniques because I don't really feel like I have a technique to it. And um, this way I can actually talk to you guys and not have to go in depth on explaining everything. With the art doll videos it's kind of hard to do that because I've got to actually tell you guys everything I'm doing and it's really hard to also have a separate conversation while doing that. But yeah, that's my idea for the channel so far. Thursday is normal art doll video upload day, and then Friday I want to be kind of just free range for whatever else I want to post. But kind of like today, today is probably Friday that I uploaded this, and yesterday I probably uploaded an art doll video. I want to keep it the same. Art doll video, maybe extra video the following day kind of thing. But let me know, I'm trying to keep it to where if you want to be on my channel for the art dolls, you can just come on Thursday and you can watch your art dolls and you don't have to bother with the other stuff unless you want to. So I don't want it to be like, oh, Thursday's my upload day, but I have no idea what she's going to upload because it could be an art doll that I want to see, but it could be something I don't want to see. So I want to do that and do the extra stuff. That way everyone kind of gets what they want. And I can have some fun with it. 
Okay, so we're kind of getting to the end of the painting right now. Um, the eye itself is pretty much done. When I was doing this painting, I decided I wanted to work from the middle outwards, uh, mainly because I didn't know how long I'd be working on it and I didn't want to bump different details. So I focused on staying in the middle and then spreading out onto the canvas. So at the end, the last thing I need to do is actually the fur detail around the eye. And I thought this was going to be really hard to do, but this really wasn't that bad. It's mainly creating the pinkish hues that are underneath the fur and then creating the brush strokes to look like fur details. I'm sorry if you can hear some jingling in the background. That would actually be Axel readjusting and probably needing tucked in again. He's such a cute little baby. He can't sleep unless you tuck him in with his blankets. He's so cute. <laughs> But oh boy is he a baby, but it's all my fault because I baby him. I'm with him like 24-7. He's my little companion while I'm working so I'm not alone. So of course I'm gonna just love on him and give him all the attention in the world. And of course he is spoiled as can be. But anyone that has or had a dog before knows this, that they just become your child. And especially if you have a schedule to where you're with them so much, they just become so attached to you. It's just ridiculous. But clearly I'm a little obsessed with Axel, my little fur baby, because I'm painting his eye for the internet to see. <laughs> I just want to share it with the world because he's so damn cute. But I've been like this with all my pets. I grew up with a lot of reptiles and different things and you think, oh those aren't cute at all, but when you have a bearded dragon, they act just like a little scaly puppy. <laughs> they're so sweet and they're so much fun to play with. Um, I've had turtles, reptiles, lizards, snakes. Um, guinea pigs, birds, I mean, you name a basic pet and I probably had it. I've had a scorpion. Currently I have two hermit crabs. I'm actually getting a little obsessed about hermit crabs because they're so adorable and they actually have really cute personalities. I'll probably have to go into more detail on this because I want to do a painting of them as well because I just think they're super cute and I think they would look really cool in some abstract painting. So um, we'll probably save that discussion for that video because otherwise I'll just go on and on on a tangent and we'll never finish this video. <laughs> Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's time lapse piece. I had so much fun making it. Now of course this is going to be a piece that I keep for myself personally because it's of my baby and I just can't let that go. But I do want to do some paintings in the future to put up in my Etsy shop or possibly even make prints of. So keep an eye out for that. It'll probably be far, far into the future, but I do definitely want to try doing that. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!